Welcome back down to the fly guys. Today I'll be using the Whopper Popper 60 for some large amount bass right after it started raining. And we got a rainstorm coming, so we get it out there and catch one. The Whopper Popper 60 is a small spot popper they make now. It's like the newest one. I just had one. Oh, got one. Saw me eat that one. Holy crap. That bass inhaled it. Holy crap. That's the first cast, too. See you, buddy. Inhaled this Wap Flopper. This Wap Flopper 60. I'll link down below, guys. If you just want to go check it out. It's about like a $10 lure. Cast it out there and slowly retrieve with your rod tip up. To the bass, you should want to hit it. Oh, big bass, big bass. And fishing in the rain is always the best time, that one. It's a decent sized one. That's an okay size. That large my bass wanted that wop popper. It's what I was trying to say is that it's always a good time to go top water fishing when it during it's raining or after it's just stopped raining let me unhook this guy then I'm gonna release him and catch another one see ya buddy cast it out there and you should just reel it up the rod tip up it always works And uh, make sure you guys are subscribed because our goal is to try to hit 700 subscribers by the end of this by the end of this month. That's our dream, and yeah, got one. Oh, that was cool. Tommy got another one. Instant. Oh, it came off. That was cool. I just stopped it and ate it. Sometimes you just want to reel it a little bit and then stop it and keep reeling. We normally hit it. I'm like, and sometimes when you guys are casting these water poppers, you just want to like just do like a top water popper, just slowly pause it on that. Like, when you stop it, a bass normally comes and smacks it. They're following, and they're not want to eat it. You just pause it and you normally hit it. Got some tricks.
I'm going to move down. Oh. oh, it did. Got one. Oh, he's big. Er. Hooked up. I just stopped recording for a second. Now I'm back at it. I would be using my bay caster, but wait, this water plopper is too light to cast, and this guy in. Look at that belly on that guy. Holy crap, it's so thick. Inhaled. Inhaled walk plopper. Look at that. Inhaled it. Tommy, can you take a picture? I put on my other rod. Oh, you can go back to the car. Yeah, I'm not talking. I want to try to catch you on the Guggen See ya, buddy. First, I wait till he goes to a bigger lake. Wait till he goes to a bigger lake. Sign your other one. Actually, I'll walk down a little bit. I got inhaled it when I paused it. And I'm throwing my Wap Plopper 60 on my Abu Garcia Silver Max Rod. I'll link that down below. Well, I'm not throwing on a big caster because it's way too light to throw on a big caster far distances. If you, don't, if you want to use bait caster with waffle up, or you can toss it like maybe 20 feet out there. But but we're fishing a pond, so I want to cast it all across the pond. So the best way to do that is use a spinning rod. Personally. So. This tiny bass. No.